Asian lacquer is a very stable material. It can stand the test of time. However, it is sensitive to photo degradation from light as well as physical damage from being knocked or scratched or dropped, for example. So this is a Korean lacquered wooden box. Uh, it's decorated with mother of pearl inlay as well as brass, a tortoiseshell and some ray skin on the interior. So it's got two phoenixes on the interior of the box and then it's decorated with dragons on the exterior. The lacquer and inlay has been applied over a textile layer that is in turn applied to the wooden box. Well, when I first looked at this object, it was clear that it was very dirty. The surface was heavily soiled, uh, but the main concern was some structural instability across the surface. There's been some moisture damage at some point which has caused the textile to lift up off the wooden surface, so this has caused distortions in the lacquer and in the inlay. And in turn this led to some of the inlay being lost and some areas were unstable and were lifting and were at risk of detaching completely. For a project like this, we'd estimated around 40 to 50 hours of hands-on work on the object. And at this stage in conservation, I've finished cleaning the surface of the object and I've stabilised the lifting inlay. So the object's now stable and I've started to create some small detachable fills to replicate the missing areas of inlay, particularly on the top surface of the lid. At this point I'm using conservation grade materials starting with a base of Japanese tissue and building up with acrylic resins, powdered luster pigments for the mother of pearl and then I've used a thin cast sheet of epoxy to form the perfectly smooth top layer that I was after and then these little pieces are cut down to size the edges are tinted with acrylic paints and the top surface is toned back and then the small pieces are then adhered in place. Our analytical science team have also been looking at a small sample that had detached from the interior of the box and interestingly they found that the metal powder used is actually aluminium which is very unexpected for an object like this. The other thing that was immediately apparent was that the surface was quite yellow. So once I'd examined the object under UV radiation, I was able to collect a small sample of the yellow coating from an area of shell. And that was taken to our team in analytical science. And they confirmed that it was a close match for a shellac. The shellac coating is very yellow and it has changed the appearance of the object quite substantially. In small areas, you can see where the shellac is actually missing and underneath the shell is much whiter and the lac is more of a dark brown black colour. So originally it's possible the overall appearance of the object would have been more black and silver as opposed to the brown and gold appearance it has now.